England is a land of countless lakes and streams of every size, clear and cold, ideal angling waters everywhere. But except for an abundance of eels, all these waters were originally almost barren of fish, and of freshwater sporting fish there were none. Now, quinnet and Atlantic salmon have been acclimatized in southern waters, where heavy runs are experienced. Both brown and rainbow trout have taken kindly to New Zealand conditions and are well established all over the country. Their number and size have made New Zealand angling world famous. To the angler, there is more in his sport than the satisfaction of catching fish. There is appreciation of his surroundings, the enjoyment of the peace and quiet of the lake shores and river banks, from which he may cast a fly on well-stocked waters. In New Zealand, the angler has practically unrestricted access to all fishing waters, and the government and acclimatization societies cooperate in keeping them well stocked. Hatcheries have been set up in suitable locations, as here in the famous Rotorua Thermal District. From the hatcheries, supplies of trout over are distributed to all parts of the country for restocking streams and for bringing in new waters. Hatcheries also rear trout on the premises, from over to fry or young fish ready for liberation. As growth goes on, the young fish can be seen inside the egg, the eye appearing first as a dark spot. After hatching, the yolk sacs remain attached to the fry and sustain them until they're able to feed by mouth. When the fry have grown to the size of your little finger, they're ready for release in the streams. They're taken there in special cans, and before they're let go, the temperature of the water is carefully checked. Some of those being released here may survive long enough to grow into fish of 12 to 15 pounds weight. In the early days of acclimatization, trout reached enormous size, up to 25 and even 30 pounds. Fresh supplies of ova for the hatcheries are obtained in the spawning season. Formerly the supplies were imported, but now the hatchery men can get them from the trout in New Zealand waters. The men go to the mouths of streams and drive the fish up to a barrier which has already been fixed across the upper reaches. Holding a length of wire netting from bank to bank, they wade upstream, driving the fish before them. At a point a few yards below the fixed barrier, the wire netting is pegged in place across the stream to keep the fish penned up in a small area. They can then be lifted out in nets for stripping, after which the fish are returned to the water.
the work of the hatchery men keeps up the stock of fish in all the angling waters of New Zealand and also ensures that there'll be a plentiful supply of everything needed to produce speckled beauties like these.